What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here. And today we're going to be giving a little tutorial on how the martial arts sin works. This is one of my favorite things that they changed. And I want to come in and let you guys know. Because this has actually been a super popular question. I just did a little playthrough through normal with the martial arts sin. Um, with the phoenix strike kind of, you know, building towards it sin. And everybody was really confused. They were all like, I don't understand. What does this do? How does this work? Uh, I've never played martial arts before or anything like that. So I want to give a little bit of a rundown of just how it plays so you all can understand. And also because I think a lot of you are going to want to play this build in the future, right? So first things first, let's talk about the skill tree, the daunting skill tree. These six skills on the left are all charge skills. And these four skills on the right are all finishing. You can see it says charge up skill, finishing move. Charge up skill, finishing move. Okay. So what this does is you go and use any of these skills. And I have three of them hotkeyed right now. So for instance, fist of fire, I can hit and I gain a charge for every hit. Because I have two claws and both of them hit on that attack, I gain two charges. So now I have three charges, and these charges will last for, I don't know if it tells us here, however many seconds. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So I can gain charges there. Now, if I, if I want to build up Claw of Thunder charges, I can do that. And if I want to build up Blades of Ice charges, I can do that. If I want to build up Tiger Strike charges, I can do that. Right? If I want to build up Cobra Strike charges, I can do that. And you can see the addition of each of these charges. And there you can see some of the charges do fade away. Right? So you can shift between all of your charge up skills and build up into a nice whole little swirly pattern in all of this. Kind of looks like Invoker from Dota or something, right? But what do you do with them? And how do they work? You build these charges up and nothing is happening when you're building these charges. Now the thing, and I'll actually bring this to the front so you can fully see. The thing to note is when you're reading it, it'll give you what happens at the, at the bottom there with everything. So for instance, Tiger Strike, you get plus attack rating. And then the charge 1 is 100% damage, charge 2 is 200%, and charge 3 is 300%. Cobra Strike gives life and mana steal. Um, but when you get into these elemental ones, they'll have different ways that they explode. So for instance, first off, you can see attack rating 115%. So if I'm using this skill, my attack rating is 115% while I'm building the charges up. Not while I'm finishing, just while I'm building the charges up. A uh, charge one will do fire damage just to the target I kick or uh, attack. Charge two... And this is, once again, done not when I'm building it up, but when I use a finishing move. Char if there's two charges, there's two orbs around me, it will deal fire damage in a radius of four yards. And if I have three of those orbs around me, it'll do a explosion and set fire on the ground that will do fire damage for time. Claws of Thunder will do Lightning, Nova, and Charged Bolt. So you'll see those spread out depending on how many you have. And then you have cold damage, cold damage in a radius, and a radius freeze, right? So these are going to be the things. And then Phoenix Strike has a, uh, it has Meteor, Chain Lightning, and then what's called a Chaos Ice Bolt, which is kind of like a Frozen Orb, but weaker. So these are the things that happen at each of the charges. And so what I mean by this, let me come over here really fast and grab that and... What I mean by this is, let's go ahead and use the Fist of Fire and we can go through. So if I have only one charge, and I hit, it's just a fire damage that was dealt. If I have two charges, oh that's three charges, it leaves this burning fire, and now with two charges, it does a fire explosion, and with one charge, it's just a single fire. Okay? If I build up my lightning, again, you can see on three, I deal that charge bolt. On two, it's just a nova, and on one, it's just straight lightning damage. 
And if I build up the cold, on three, it's a freeze all around. On two, it's just a cold damage radius. And on one, it's a single cold damage. So, all in all, as each individual one, it's okay. But when you start to pair them all together, you can kick for really awesome things, right? Yeah, there's a Nova with the charge bolt as well with that three one, right? So as you pair them all, you can start to do all of these things, which makes it really awesome. And again, this is the finishing move. So what changed and what was different? First off, now you only expend one charge instead of all of the charges. So you can see I kicked off one of those and I still have two charges of each of them, which means I could go kick again and I would deal the level two for each of these. And now I deal the level one for each of these. This didn't used to exist. The way it worked before was whatever level you got up to, as soon as you used a finishing move, all of the charges went away. And so you would have, okay, boom, you kick it off and you do the, the charge, you know, the th charge three here with the fire there and the charge three here with the charge bolt Nova and the charge three here with the, um, the freezing. And that was it. All of your charges would disappear and you would be left completely without charges. And so you'd have to rebuild all the way back up. So now you either kick once and you just have to rebuild one charge of each of them if you want to get back to the three charge or you can kick 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 and have the level three the level two the level one all of that stuff right so it gives you so much more added dps which is really nice additionally they increase the attack rating on all of these so that's nice you can actually hit more often to build these charges because it was really hard and then something that they added is all of finishing moves will now always hit 100% of the time if you have at least one charge. So this is actually super helpful because you can build up charges and then you will always hit. And so it's very helpful to be able to get that finish off instead of trying to hit with the finish and missing and missing and missing and then the charges expire and it's super annoying. And, and this is kind of one of the reasons the old martial arts sim was just... Ugh, you know, it was just like hard to hit, hard to build. And then if you did build all of it up, you had one shot basically where it all blew up and that was it. Um, now, for things like kicks, if you have multiple kicks, so if you've like max dragon talent, you're like five kicks, six kick, whatever it is, you will kick all of your charges out one, two, three, like really fast. So that is something to note. Um, is if you have a finisher like Dragon Talon where you're going to kick multiple times, it will apply that all of the time. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So, the, so that's just one thing to really note. But all of these finishers are kind of better now because, like I say, they always hit when you have the charge. So you go and you get the charge and then you hit and it's good. Um so this is how the martial arts sin worked and works now and why I'm super optimistic about her. Right now I'm just kind of playing through, enjoying the variety of building up these like elemental charges and kicking them off. I think there's definitely something to be said for building like a very physical damage Tiger Strike Dragon Talon or something build or uh, Tiger Strike Dragon Tail where you get an explosive kick that adds that fire damage on top of it. Um, Dragon Claw, you know, however you want to finish could be interesting. But I think Tiger Strike is going to have massive damage addition to some physical stuff, which I think could be super solid. And then additionally, now you can you don't have a cast delay on Dragon Flight, so you can teleport around pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think there's a lot... Uh, changed here that's super cool there um and i think phoenix sin and all of that is going to be a lot of fun so i think a lot of you guys will enjoy it anyways with that being said thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment below peace youtube have a good one